In this video I'll show you how to set up and use the moon and tide graph functions on the Casio WS1300H, WS1100H and the LWS1100H. And later on I'll test it out to see how accurate it is. So if you want to know how it's done, just follow along. These are three different watches but the button presses to operate and enter the tide and moon functions are exactly the same. And I'll be using my WS1100H for the demonstration. When the watch is shipped from the factory, the tidal location settings comes pre-programmed with that for Tokyo in Japan. If you want to set it to another location, the instruction manual gives you the information to set it to a limited number of locations. But what happens if the location that you want is not on the list? The good news is that you can work out the values to enter into the watch for your location as long as your chosen location has two high tides and two low tides a day. The country where I live, which is Ireland, is not in the list and I'll be using the port of Dublin as an example for setting up my tidal location. The three pieces of information that you'll need to gather for your chosen location is the UTC differential, its longitude and lunar tidal interval. The UTC differential is by how many hours your location varies from the universal coordinated time. To get that information, Google time differential from UTC and then your location. For me, there is currently no difference, so that value is zero. To get the longitude, go to Google to get your site's GPS coordinates. The watch only needs this value. You don't need the minus and round up or down the decimals. We now need to get the lunar tidal interval. There is a website that will calculate this information for us. All you need to do is to enter some values. The lunar tidal web app calculator will calculate the lunar tidal interval for us. Begin by entering the latitude and the longitude for your site, then press next. Check whether you are currently using daylight saving time for your location and presently it's not so press next. Finally it will ask you to enter the time for the next high tide on a certain date. You will have to search for the published records for this. On the 26th of January the first high tide after that time is at 12.08 in the afternoon. So go back to the app and enter that value. Press next and you should see the lunar tidal interval for your location. Note down the lunar tidal interval as well and we can enter the values into the watch. To enter the values into the watch, press the top left button twice. Use the buttons on the right side to go up and down. I'm firstly entering zero for the UTC differential. Then press the bottom left button to enter the longitude. The longitude value for me is going to be 6 degrees west. Enter that and then press the bottom left button again. Finally, enter the value for the lunar tidal interval, and this is going to be 1111 11 for me. Then press the top left button to return to the home screen, and now you're all set. We can now check for the accuracy of the watch by checking it against official records. The watch reports the first high tide at 2 in the morning, 
which is close to the 1.42 time of the official record. Next the watch reports the first low tide at 7 in the morning. Again this is close to the official record. If we then move the clock forward to 2 in the afternoon it should show the second high tide, which it does. We can also check for the accuracy of the moon phase information. If we move it forward to the 2nd of February it should show the third quarter. If we then move it forward to the 9th of February, the watch should report a new moon. And it does show a new moon on the 9th of February, so I'm happy with the accuracy of the moon phase information as well. I hope that this video has helped to uncover the mysteries of setting the tidal information on these Casio watches. If it did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up or a subscribe. Thanks for watching folks, and I'll see you in the next video.